whatever, we'll make it work. Cool. All right. This is Jackie. I'm here with your all-access interview with Gladiators here at Dallas's South by Soet Festival. We're here at day two. We're still here. Um, describe the sound on uh, One Tooth at a Time. One Tooth at a Time was kind of a thing that we put together as this idea to be like a progressive hardcore thing. We tried to, which is totally original and no one does that shit I guess right now. I don't know. We probably made it up. But it's this idea of like we tried to put a melting pot of our favorite bands into one sound and that was the child that came out of it, you know? So you, you know, and you did mention, you know, nobody's doing this with, <laughs> with the, the sarcasm that I appreciate. How do you make sure that you stand out in the sort of oversaturated scene? That's a really good question. Um, we just, I try to find shit that I think's hot and I write it to you and I write it, you know what I mean? And it's not meant to sound arrogant in any way and that's not to bash on any other band. But like you said, there's a lot of sounds out there and it's a sea of noise of people trying to emulate other people. We're just trying to be ourselves. You know, like some of our favorite sounds are rooted in hardcore. We love progressive metal. We love straight up metal core. We love the big choruses. We love all kinds of music and we just wanted to put it in one and put it into a scene that would maybe appreciate different markets, you know? Fair enough. Is there a, a certain message or several things that you'd like fans to get from listening to your music? Sure. I mean, overall, um, we really strive to be the voice of the elephant in the room. So we do talk about a lot of things that most people think about but refuse to kind of bring up in, in conversation. And it can be very harsh um, in the ways we bring it up, but sometimes if no one's talking about it, you kind of have to be loud about it. Nice. That's important. I, I'm sure that resonates a lot with fans. Uh, you guys are from Lancaster, PA. How has that influenced either your music or your work ethic? Also a really good question. Um, uh, half of us are kind of from Philadelphia and half of us are from Lancaster. And the whole thing about it is it's just a blue collar area. We work hard. Uh, doesn't matter what time we clock out. We're always on, you know. And we try to put that tough as nail sound into our music because of that. Um, and the bands that have popped out of Lancaster, like from a small town perspective, have made it internationally huge, like the likes of August Burns Red, Texas in July. Um, our producer, Rick Armolino, has played in a band called This or the Apocalypse. And um, uh, to be influenced by people of that stature has been humbling in the fact that they even want to work with us, too. So it's kind of been an interesting uh, process mixing in with that scene and kind of getting, getting up with those heavyweights now. You know what I mean? Those are some great bands. Um, by any chance, are you playing Launch? We are. We'll be playing Launch. That's a, also a good question again there. Uh, we'll be I do my job. I know, I know. And stellar at that. Um, uh, we'll be playing Launch, and either Breather will be headlining that date. I was going to say, I mean, you, you're from, that's, that's your home base. I, I would hope that they're giving you some, home, some hometown love. Uh, what venue will you be playing? We'll be playing the convention center. Oh, okay. At the actual, nice. So you get the big stage. Yes, Lots of room to play. Yes, All right. Um, you guys are involved with Fake Life. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yes. Fake Life is a great company on an even better mission, the way like we like to describe it. Um, I'm super passionate about giving back to people who are in more need than maybe myself or a little bit less fortunate myself. Um, and the owner of Fake Life, Larry Martin, just is an unbelievable person with an unbelievable message. And all he wants to do is help people be less hungry, help give people back something that we all need, you know, and he does it in a way that he kind of infiltrates the music scene and gives people cool merchandise to pick up and then donates uh, proceeds from that merchandise to help feed families, which is, in our opinion, I think exactly what this world is looking for, a little bit less selfish and more selfless, you know what I mean, and trying to give to others versus just yourself, so. And I think integrating that within the music community is a great way to make that work. Um, What's up next for you guys after South by So What? Well, uh, the Launch Music Conference is, d is definitely our next big hit. Um, currently, we are working on our second studio album. Um, do you want to? Yeah. Well, we told the other uh, interviewer before. <laughs> uh, you guys are the first to know. We titled our new record called Plexus, and we're very excited about this release. Um, our first record, as you mentioned, One Tooth at a Time, kind of mixes the metal, hardcore, and progressive. And what we ended up doing was is we took it from here, and we brought it to here, and we really kind of listened and paid attention to how trends were going and how we could still be original yet be 
recognizable and familiar with people. And so we really paid attention to, um, you know, catchy hooks and choruses and things that kids can sing along. We're really expanding Mike's vocals, a little less screaming and more, more singing. It's, it's more of a melting pot, more of a mix. And it just sounds a lot more uh, like us grown up. And it's, it's, Gladiators has been a three-year process, one year that we spent writing our product and then two years public. Um, and we, want, we went at it with a business plan, national from the shoot, and now we want to kind of just live up to that reputation and give our fans exactly what they need, and, and that's us on a higher level. You know what I mean? Very interested to hear a lot more, and I'll see you next month. Stay tuned for a lot more from Gladiators. This is Jackie. Thanks to All Access and In the Key of Change.